Hello and welcome to this March 23rd, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring McMoran Exploration Company, ticker symbol MMR. This is a $1.3 billion basic materials company. Um, really uh, um, in the energy space. If you take a look uh, at MMR, the thing that really stands out to me is this breakaway gap right here back in January. Uh, this is, uh, in my mind, one of the most bullish type of candlesticks and gaps that you can find. Uh, the main characteristics of a breakaway gap, obviously, number one, you're gapping up above resistance. Number two, generally, the breakaway gap carries monstrous volume. Uh, normal gaps will carry better than average volume, but a breakaway, a true breakaway gap, has monstrous volume, and you have normally uh, a Mirabozu type candle or something similar, where you open very close to the low of the day and you close very close to the high of the day. So it's a gap up, and it's like uh, you just can't stop the bulls. We just continue to move higher throughout the day, and that's what happened here back on January 11th on uh, MMR. So here was the breakaway gap. Now the beauty is that as you start to pull back into this candlestick or close to this candlestick, that's really the best time to think about getting in on weakness. So we saw recently on MMR, we came back down below the 50-day moving average, but notice the volume here on this break below the 50-day. To me, it's really not that big a deal. The 50-day has been going up so rapidly because there was such an acceleration such an acceleration of uh, price of the stock that it quickly ramped up to 50 days. So many times when you see a stock do this and then it sideways consolidates for a while, it will dip back below the 50-day moving average. So the key is to watch the volume, and really there hasn't been that much volume on this move back beneath the 50-day moving average. So looking at the various support levels, you can see here we broke out on this breakaway gap, moved up, uh, to about the 1450 level, pulled back, broke out to about 1460, 1470, pulled back, and then made another breakout here, taking out the uh, 1470 area, 1460, 1470. We came back down, we put in a hammer right here in uh, early February. I think this was on that Friday, February 5th, when the market bottomed. That also marked a pretty significant bottom and then just recently here in the last couple trading days you can see we came right back down to this level again so this is going to, should provide some pretty good price support uh, if we do break below 1460 or so there's a chance that we could go back down and test the reaction lows after this breakaway gap which is all the way down at about 13 and a quarter so those are the two key price support areas that I see on MMR I believe that uh, if we do trade into that range, that that's an area where you could think about um, accumulating the stock on the long side. It wasn't that long ago, just a few weeks ago, we were trading up almost to $19 a share. And this pullback uh, today, actually on Monday, came back down to $14.50. Um, so it's, you know, we've roughly, we've sold off a little bit more than $4 or a little over 20% just over the last couple of weeks. So it is providing an opportunity. You can see stochastics are now down at the 10 level. So the stock's getting a little bit oversold. Um, it's in a primary uptrend. Uh, it is finally showing some weakness, consolidating some of the major gains that it made. Just from early December, the stock was trading under $7 and it ran to almost 19. So that was a huge move to the upside. Needed some of this unwinding and I think that's what we're getting here. So I think MMR looks pretty good from the long side. Uh, okay, I uh, hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.